today was an announcement by the Heritage Cultural uh, Ministry for uh, funding a $400,000 uh, for Dynamic Earth and Science North, which breaks down to $310,000 to, Dy to Dynamic Earth with respect to their outdoor science park, to a, a new exhibit at Dynamic Earth. It's the first time that we've developed visitor experiences outdoors. It was a natural progression. We've done a really good job at developing visitor experiences inside our facility, and we've always wanted to do something outdoors. So obviously the support of governments in doing that is really important. Uh, and it's uh, going to be a space that attracts audiences on a beautiful sunny day. Some of the things available in the expansion in our new science park at Dynamic Earth will be a slag slide and visitors can will climb up to the top of the sla slide and slide down towards a real full-size slag pot as if they were a piece of molten slag sliding from a slag bucket to the slag pot. Our new wave machine is actually a segmented teeter-totter but it's a special kind of teeter-totter because visitors will be actually mimicking the movement of seismic waves from an earthquake as they move through the earth. Another showpiece of the park will be uh, a real size scoop tram where visitors can hang out in the bucket, they can go up into the cab and sit uh, you know, at, at the seat and pretend that they're driving this huge mining machine. We've actually talked about it for a number of years. Uh, it made sense to include it as part of a major renewal of Dynamic Earth. Dynamic Earth is, uh, is now uh, over 12 years old. So it made sense as well to do it from that perspective, but to make it part of a renewal strategy that included the facility, the, the underground mine experience, uh, and uh, the outdoor space. It is one of the top ten uh, places to visit, tourism places in Ontario. So in order to, make, to, to maintain that and to, and to support it, we need to keep it fresh. And this goes a long way to uh, support these uh, very important economic development in initiatives because it attracts tourism dollars to northern Ontario.